Right now in Georgia, at least three school age children have contracted monkeypox and more than a dozen are confirmed nationwide, according to the CDC, putting schools, colleges and universities all on alert. The CDC says there are at least 17 confirmed or probable cases among kids younger than 15. Just this week, there was a confirmed case at a Newton County Elementary School. Still, health leaders say there's no need to worry right now. I think we don't need to panic about this. I think we need to stay informed. But the cases in children, as you already said, are less than 1% of the total cases that we see. For extra protection, health experts say parents familiarize, familiarize yourself with the symptoms. Keep children home if they have a fever or a rash. Talk to your pediatrician since several illnesses cause fever and rash. And wash your hands and clean and disinfect surfaces. And when it comes to colleges and universities, the CDC has launched a new landing page with monkeypox resources on its website. Moderna is suing Pfizer over the COVID-19 vaccine. It believes Pfizer copied what the company invented. Moderna says it filed patents for its mRNA technology, which helped create the COVID vaccine. The lawsuit claims Pfizer then copied that same technology to make its vaccine. Moderna is asking for compensation. We have a dry start to your Saturday out the door, but there are some areas starting off with a little bit of patchy fog. Temperatures are around the low and mid 70s in the metro from 73 in Noonan to 74 in Fayetteville, 72 in Lithonia and good morning to in Chambly. It is 72 as we go through the course of the day. It's all about the heat and humidity and lower rain chances for us. We'll be climbing up to 89 for the high temperature, low chance of a passing shower storm if you're going to be at the tour championship for the third round today. Coming up, we're going to talk about how long these higher temperatures are going to last in my full forecast. It's 610 on your Saturday. Still ahead, we honor the legacy left by former Georgia First Lady Sandra Deal. The impact she had on Georgia's education system next. Remembering Sandra Deal, the former first lady died Tuesday from breast cancer that turned into brain cancer. 
She will be remembered at a service today as a tireless educator even after she left the classroom and moved into the governor's mansion. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on how Governor Nathan Deal's wife fit and didn't fit into the world of politics. In 2011, when Sandra Deal moved into the governor's mansion here in Buckhead, she immediately took it upon herself to work with a constituency that had almost no pull in Georgia politics. Thank you. Sandra Deal was making a day trip to read to school children in Macon when we rode along one day in 2018. It was part of an eight-year tour that took the former school teacher into every one of Georgia's 159 counties, sometimes putting her in distressed neighborhoods that her husband, Governor Nathan Deal, never saw. And so I visited some really good schools, and I visited some that were not quite so good. You have probably been in more neighborhoods in Georgia than probably Governor Deal has. Probably so. I do love the little little communities, but some of them really need a lot of help. It's hard to recruit teachers for, for areas like that. This one in Macon was Mrs. Deal's 850th school visit a tireless schedule she kept, then resumed after beating back breast cancer. There was no political purpose for much of what she did. She did it because that was where her heart was. There was no votes when she went to visit kids who were in juvenile detention centers. And uh, she would hug them, she would let them know they were loved. I'm a teacher and a mama and a grandmama, and I just have to encourage them. Sounds like this has been more physically demanding than actually teaching. Well, probably, yes, and you can, tell when you're around a group of children which ones were read to and and talked to and which ones yeah. were not. Mrs. Steele's devotion to teaching went deep. When her husband spent almost two decades in Congress, she kept her teaching job in Georgia and never moved to D.C. In Buckhead, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Sandra Deal's funeral will be held this afternoon at Lanier Tech in Gainesville. The service will begin at 2 p.m. We're told all are welcome to come to the funeral. Sandra Deal was 80 years old.